We all know the three little pigs story. One lazy pig made his house of straw. Another lazy pig made his of sticks. And the third pig made his of sturdy, sturdy bricks. That little pig sure was industrious, but his brick house is doing no favors to our environment. Cement making creates 2 billion tons of CO2 emissions a year. That's more than those created by airplanes and ships combined. Today's guest has done more research into a more environmentally friendly kind of brick for little pigs and for us. Sikan Akpan from Science Scope on PBS NewsHour. Welcome back to the show. Yeah, so this idea comes from um, bacteria that you can find in caves um, where they make limestone. So to make regular cement, manufacturers heat limestone, which was also known as the chemical called calcium carbonate, to super high temperatures. You know, we're talking up to 2,800 degrees Fahrenheit. The calcium carbonate breaks down into a powder that gets shipped to construction sites. You mix that powder with water with rocks and sand and the calcium carbonate comes back and it binds that rock and sand together to make concrete and concrete you know holds up the world that would all be fine and dandy except fo the fossil fuels burned plus the chemical reaction of heating the limestone releases the carbon dioxide as you said to the tune of two billion tons per year uh, and despite what you may have heard uh, as far as we know co2 still causes global warming so that's a problem Biomason kind of cuts out the middle steps. You know, the bacteria replace the cement powder to make calcium carbonate that binds everything together uh, without burning the fossil fuels or releasing the CO2. So how did they get the idea uh, to grow the cement with bacteria? So as a child, Biomason CEO, Ginger Creek Dozier, she was fascinated with seashells and corals and how uh, they're made. And so... The, that tough stuff in seashells and corals is calcium carbonate. It's the same stuff in limestone. And a lot of marine organisms make it. So corals, seashells, sea stars, sand dollars, they all make it. They all naturally produce calcium carbonate, normally in shells or in their uh, exoskeletons to protect themselves. So as a young architect, she was looking for an, a natural way to uh, produce building materials. And she returned to this idea of calcium carbonate, or she returned to this idea of seashells and that led her to trying to find a way to make calcium carbonate. So I noticed on, uh, in your video, you have uh, some, a picture of teeth. So I'm wondering, is this the same, like when you go to the dentist and it's like, they have to, like, is that the same, like the way bacteria builds up on your teeth? Could I build something with that be, stuff? because that stuff is super, it can be <laughs> super hard, yeah. No, so, so calcium carbonate and calcium are in your teeth. Actually, the bacteria in your mouth, um, uh, work to break down the calcium in your teeth, so you don't you don't want to use uh, oral bacteria to build your house. Okay. Too bad. <laughs> That's too bad. We thought we could repurpose, or at least I'm speaking for myself. I thought I could repurpose some things, although it would take a lot of that to uh, to help I mean, my house. You can still try. I mean, maybe you could be create a competitor for biomass. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're just going to need to bring everybody in for their teeth. Um, what, so, so obviously this creates, there's a whole process that goes into creating this uh, alternative to concrete. Is it, uh, I mean, are there, is there any differences in kind of how, how the longevity of, of the final product, how sturdy it is, how, how strong it is? So right now they're doing some some preliminary field testing. Actually, they have a courtyard uh, out in San Francisco where where you guys are based, and they also they do uh, internal testing at the facility to try to meet the industry standards for cement in general. And in terms of longevity, it should last just as long as regular cement. I mean, you're essentially creating calcium carbonate, which is in regular cement. Got it. Um, in terms of timeline, it takes three to four days for the the bacteria and the the sand and all of it to solidify, which they said is sort of around the same timeline uh, as regular cement or like sort of producing regular cement or concrete. Um, and then in terms of cost, it's kind of hard to compare because uh, the the starting materials are very different, but they're aiming for parity with with regular concrete or regular cement. Um, so the some, the bacteria once it becomes a brick in your house, the bacteria is dead. Like it couldn't, it, you know, we're not talking about stuff you can't touch or you get sick, right? Yeah, no, that's actually the kind of the cool part of this of this project. So it's a soil microbe uh, of the variety Bacillus. It doesn't cause disease, and you know we're not talking about synthetic biology. It's not genetically modified. It's it's 
their process is closer to beer brewing. They, they found the right conditions to get the bacteria to spew out tons and tons of calcium carbonate. So you won't get sick from touching these bricks. Okay. Good, good to know. Uh, so you said it's only one co- one company, and they're in North Carolina, but it sounds like they're trying this out in, in San Francisco. Um, they have a patio that they built in 2015. Uh, yep. wh- what are they sort of waiting for? What, why, why, why haven't we seen this everywhere? Well, so they're they're testing walls. I mean, they've basically been doing all the safety checks to make sure that the the bricks last for as long as as regular bricks. Um, and this year, they're going to be rolling out some bricks in structures. Um, yeah, that, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys got, you got to watch the video at PBS NewsHour. It's really interesting. Um, a lot of detail on how uh, bacteria can make a patio. <laughs> well, we're about to make a patio at our house, so maybe we'll enlist the uh, the the work yeah. of bacteria. Well, you could try to just spit on the ground and see <laughs> yeah. if... <laughs> yeah. That's Start- true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, start with spit on the ground and then see what happens. Okay, all right. I don't think that's going to work that'll, so well. that'll be the next episode of the science. <laughs> no one wants to come over to my house if that's how we built yeah, our patio. I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us again. Sikan Apkpan is the digital science producer for the PBS NewsHour, and he is Mon Science on Twitter. Thanks so much for coming on. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll Take talk care. to you soon.